Hello and welcome to this video on HCL One Test API. In this uh, tutorial, uh, we're going to show you how to use One Test API to create a test suite to house your smoke tests, and then run the test suite um, and then view the results in in the HTML reports. And so HCL One Test API uses a database to store historical test data. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Then we're going to create and run a test suite and then view the test reports. So uh, we need to ensure that we have connectivity between um, HCL One Test API and the system under test. Um, we need to set up the project database already and we need at least one test created to house in the test suite. So with regards to the project uh, results database, there are four supported databases, IBM DB2, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, and MySQL. Just note that there, there are some user permissions that are required to access the database. To create the test suite, we're going to use a demo application called Vacation Booking. Um, this application contains um, numerous underlying technologies, uh, one of it, which is a SOAP uh, HTTP request to a web service. We're going to create uh, a test and then house that test in a test suite. So in the scripts folder of the installation directory of HCL One Test API, you'll find um, some um, sample SQL scripts there that um, that can be used to create the, uh, the project database. So depending on the database you have, so whether it's Oracle or MySQL, there are the relevant SQL files in this um, folder um, that can be used to, to create the database. So, <coughs> I now have um, ACL One Test API open. Um, the project database is configured in the following location. So if you click on project and project settings and you go to the server settings tab, there you will find uh, database uh, connection details. So you can choose from a drop down menu here the um, database provider and you provide the database URL work rail string as well as the username and password. And um, once you've done that, if you click test connection, uh, what you should see is this message that uh, connection was successful. And it comes back with a schema version number. So you now have this database uh, project uh, set up and configured in HCL One Test API. We're now ready to create our test suite. So um, I already have here a few tests uh, created previously. Um, uh, so these tests um, call the Book Hotel web service. And within this Book Hotel web service, uh, we have an operation called Get Hotel. Um, so if I look at this one here, um, this service simply sends a, a request um, to find hotel availability in Barcelona for the following dates. So if I run this test, okay, we can see that that has run successfully. And what I've done now is created um, other tests uh, for different cities. So Edinburgh, um, for example, and London. So all these um, are basically tests to find hot hotels in, in the relevant city. If we go to the UI, this is what is done. So Barcelona, for example. You can choose a to from date and a to date, and we do a search. So this is the functionality here that we're trying to um, recreate in HCL One Test API, where we can retrieve um, hotel availability depending on the city and, and date period. 
Okay, so once we're happy that these tests run successfully, all we have to do now is go and create a test um, suite. So if we move over to a test factory perspective and under the get hotels operation suite, I'm gonna create a new test suite. And I'm gonna give it a name, regression suite. And in here, all I have to do is drag and drop the tests that I would like to run in this test suite. So for example, I'd like to run the, uh, the one uh, on London, one on Edinburgh and Barcelona. Now here you can see um, this uh, scenario resource. If I double click here, we can specify a name for this. Um, you can also specify the environment where you want to run it in, um, whether it's um, dev or sit or here I've got other environments configured. Um, you can also decide whether you want to run the tests in parallel or whether you want some pacing in between um, the run tests. Uh, for now, we'll just leave all this um, as it is. So if we click OK and save, we can right click and run the test suite. So you can see here that the test, is, the test suite is run. And uh, basically within the test suite, we have three tests and all these three tests have ran successfully. So if you want to view the results, if you move to the results gallery, um, in here, we can browse for the, um, for the test suite. So what we're choosing here is a suite called regression suite and click OK. And here we can see this was the instance that we ran. And here is a summary of um, the test report and test suite report. And in the test suite, we can see we've got three tests. And what I can also do is click individually on each test here to see um, more details about the test. So for example, on this send request, I can click on the link here and it shows you uh, things like header information and the actual message that was sent um, and also um, the received response. Um, you can do that for each and every test here. Um, and once you're happy with this, what you can then do is save all this to an HTML file. Okay, and save it. So we can now go and view this report over here. And all we have to do is simply double click on it. And here we can see the actual report. To save individual um, test reports, we can click on the re relevant test and then export this as an HTML page. So let's export it to this directory. And now if we go and open this test1.html, you'll actually see the detailed report of, of the actual test. So to summarize, we have spoken a bit about the project database and, and this is a requirement before um, creating test suites and viewing um, test results. So we created a test suite and housed uh, a few tests in there and ran those uh, tests in the test suite. And we then saved those test report reports and viewed them as um, HTML documents. I hope this tutorial was useful. Thank you for watching this video.